What's up guys, back with another Honkai Star Rail video. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about collabs and sort of my view on them and then could we potentially see one. Now, if you don't know where I'm at, I'm in the Herd Space Station storage zone and there are two funny items. One is a sword from Honkai Impact 3rd and one is the Traveler's Wings from Genshin. Now, we already have characters from Honkai Impact 3rd. As you can see, I'm have Himiko right now and she's a character in the other Honkai game right we have Welp who's from another Honkai game right so obviously it's like same universe-esque characters right so having a collab from them would not really make too much sense however Genshin is right up the alley as Honkai third has had Kaching and I believe they got to keep Fischl in their collab funny enough Genshin didn't get anything kind of funny still mad about that because i played genshin around that time but so we could probably see you know characters from genshin in starl at some point if they decide to do that however in genshin there is a non hoyoverse ip which is her eyes of dawn and that is alloy she's the main character so it is clear that hoyoverse is capable and is willing to put non hoyoverse characters i guess is what you would say for that instead of just star Wars characters in star Wars. but anyway they seem to be okay with that so could we potentially see one of those now obviously the first contender would be Alo herself as the game is on pc mobile and ps5 however i'm pretty sure that would mean that they wouldn't be able to go to xbox because there was some stuff with like nintendo and i believe fortnite where they wanted samus in the game but they only wanted it on nintendo consoles right so i highly doubt if star Wars ever has any plans of going to xbox or like nintendo switch or nintendo switch 2 or whatever they come up with right i doubt alloy would be going to those games so hopefully they don't do any clubs like that that would pretty much just could confirm or soft confirm that it would only be on the ps5 but if they did it is what it is right i feel like that is the biggest possibility is getting a playstation exclusive in the sense of something they own that's only on like the playstation consoles in star Wars. i'm not saying we're getting no spider-man that would be kind of insane i mean i like spider-man but i also <laughs> Don't think it would fit really well in this. Uh, we wouldn't be getting stuff like Kratos or anything crazy like that. But it is still a possibility because it has happened before. Now, personally, I might be biased because I'm a huge anime fan and I play a bunch of other anime gacha games. But I would be pretty hyped to get some anime collabs in it. As I know this isn't technically an anime game, but the characters definitely fit the anime-esque like, art style slash like design to them plus this is a gacha game at the end of the day and a lot of gacha games collab with stuff heck i swear every other time i open up the app store to update something on my phone i see like an evangelion or a konosuba collab with something which by the way would be pretty ironic if there was a konosuba collab in this because <laughs> before i did star i did content on a konosuba gacha game but regardless of that right I'd be pretty happy for that. I think Star Wars should definitely, definitely, definitely do collabs. It'd be very, very cool. However, they would be free from what I see. So you would have to summon. That's even a bigger W. However, Alloy is also very bad in Genshin. So hopefully they would make them somewhat usable. Because having a dead collab character would not be that fun. Not going to lie. Uh, but another thing that I'm curious about, right, is they seem to be okay with collabs but we never have seasonal characters, right? Now, in most gacha games, I say most because I know some don't do it, when the celebrations come around for like Thanksgiving, or not Thanksgiving, sorry, I meant Halloween. I was gonna say Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, right? Uh, but for Halloween, they have like Halloween units. So like Himiko would be in, let's say like a witch outfit, right? Or March 7th would be in a pumpkin outfit, or Don Hang would be like, you know, Frankenstein or something, right? Something along those lines. Hoyverse doesn't really do that, which is a shame because I think it'd be really cool to have costumes like that, at least for characters. I'm not a huge fan of having to summon for said characters because obviously they wouldn't be in the pool the whole time with how other gotchas do it. But I mean, come on, who wouldn't want like a witch Kafka, right? It'd be pretty cool. So 
that's out the window, unfortunately. So I highly doubt collabs would be summonable, meaning they would be free. But I would, I would be really, really, really down for collabs. Let me know what your thoughts are on collabs in the comments. Do you think they should add them, but they should be free? Do you think they should add them and be gotcha, like you have to summon for them? Do you think that they should be no collabs at all? Do you think there should be only Hoyoverse IP collabs, such as Hawkeye Third and Genshin Impact? Let me know in the comments and hopefully we get some stuff soon or maybe in the future just like I'll, I'll take anything right just like even if they just say yeah we're never doing collabs i'd be fine with that because the idea of a gotcha game like this that is so mainstream i mean come on they they made the most money out of any gotcha game last month so they obviously are pretty big just having collabs of other you know media that you consume or know of pretty hype but any of that that'll be it for the video um you know leave a like and subscribe if you're new here helps me out a bunch i'll probably have some tier list videos soon before jing lu drops i'll have should you summon all that good stuff so you don't want to miss it go ahead and subscribe and of course thanks for watching